Good day, everybody. My name is Ian Chikino. I'm going to cast another game on a new GSL map. This one, if I recall correctly, is Biohazard 2. We've got Ors Rush as our red Protoss player in the bottom left part of the map. And the bottom right part of the map, we have Sin, our purple Protoss player. Now, let's look at the, this map here for a second. Because, uh, like me, I'm pretty sure most of you aren't familiar with these maps yet. So here's the general layout of the base here in the bottom right part of the map. It's about the size of a little bit larger than the one on Zonalaga Caverns. We have a ramp down here to an expansion that looks like it's going to be very easy to defend. A little bit larger than the uh, entrance to Lost Temple. But nonetheless, I think this is going to be a very easy expansion to defend. And you come out from here and you kind of make your way around the map down here to the middle. And then you're right here at your opponent's natural expansion. So the rush distance isn't too far, actually. On this map, it seems kind of small uh, on these positions. And, uh, wow, there's even another little hidden expansion right here that both players can be uh, led into next to this gold here. This is quite interesting. Uh-huh. There's a high ground up there. Wow, I kind of like this map already. So, uh, yeah, you come out here, and then you can come in here to a third, and there's a gold down here. So, but you can see how open this is. And then, of course, if uh, you have some long-range units, you can put them over here or some up here, and then as long as you have vision, you can just kill all these units mining at this uh, mineral patch. <coughs> Excuse me. This mineral patch only does have six instead of eight, so uh, it's not as fancy as the the bigger ones here that have eight mineral patches, which is a pretty large deal considering how many extra minerals, minerals you get. So both players going for the macro style. We have a nexus uh, from ores and a hatchery, of course, from Sin, and both players just scouting around each other. He's going to see everything going on here. And uh, Sin uh, hasn't started um, Metal Block boost yet, boost yet, but I'm assuming that's what he's going to do. He hasn't put anything on gas. There he goes. He's finally not putting units on gas, uh, drones on gas. We have seen him get uh, Metal Block boost and Zergling's Zergling Mewtwo combination. At least it seems to be his play style against Protoss in the last game I casted on Crevasse. But Ors looks like he's going to go for just a two base play. And we'll see what type of units he decides to transfer into. Last game, of course, we saw him go Blink Stalker. But, yeah, this is definitely... Ooh, we even got some tall grass here in this position. So that keeps... Uh, is there tall grass over here in this position, too? Okay, yeah, there is. So there's tall grass here. So, yeah, that... Hmm. This might be a pretty good place to proxy, too. Uh, if you want to proxy your opponent, hide it in here somewhere. Very close to your opponent's base. And out of the scouting path. Out of the normal scouting path, but... Uh, man, I can see this being like a death trap for so many armies, you know, you just like coming through here and then they see it and they like force field this and half your army's cut off and you lose everything. That could be pretty dis you know, uh, you know, destroy an army pretty badly. We got some gold down here, only six at this position and no gas. Or is actually, oh, hiding a little probe down there, I didn't even see that, but no gas at this, at this gold base, so this is just pure for minerals. So definitely some interesting maps. Uh, that GSL is deciding to add. I definitely like them. Uh, I definitely enjoy seeing all these uh, four-player style larger maps, a little bit larger maps, and with a lot of cool new interesting elements added into them. Uh, I'm not sure what Ors is going to do here with this probe. I mean, he could easily just put a pile on here and start warping stuff into his main if he got vision from uh, if he got vision from the high ground. But he's setting this probe up, and he's going to go do some scouting. And we've got Zerglings come out, Banelings, and a Metal Block boost a while. At the same time, we've got Ores with uh, Starport going up. So this probe is going to go in here, get suicided, get a little bit of vision. And a Soccer, we have a little bit of fight for the middle of the map. This single Zelda Naga Tower is going to try and control that out a little bit. Uh, Sin with some two Zerglings going to go up there. And we have a lot of Zerglings now out in the move, so I think we're going to have a Baneling bust at this point. And let's see what he's got a bus here at the front. He's got some gateways and some pylons. There's two pylons powering this, so if he can take out both those pylons, is he in vision? No, he's just barely out of vision. Chrono boosting out some sentries. Those things need to get out before these brainlings hit. Uh, this is going to be extremely close. Uh, he just needs to get those out. Is he going to wait for more reinforcements, or is Sin going to go in as soon as those finish? Uh, this is, he really needs to just hit right now before those sentries come out. There he goes. He's going to take it out and get them before the. Oh! One, he's, one still lives. He didn't actually break through that. I'm not quite sure why he didn't go through this. The one piling over here, he chose to go for the huge uh, <laughs> HP gateway. 
Not necessarily the smartest move, but more reinforcements are coming. Zerglings, Banelings, one Void Ray out. Morphing and eight Banelings, more Zerglings on route to reinforce. And he really needs to go for uh, this one position over here. Unfortunately, the Citri is, uh, can't really get a safe spot, but there are a lot. He's not even throwing down the force field. There he goes. But he's busting on through. And wow, he takes out all those cannons. And he may have broken uh, ores at this point. If he can just bring in more reinforcements, so we can see more Zerglings coming in. If he can run around here, maybe get in the main. Krub's being pulled to you know, get off the minerals and start attacking. And we can see, I'm going to highlight all these probes. You can see them die here at this point. He's trying to get in the gas, but only one at a time. Sorry. And those Zerglings are just taking him out. More Zerglings reinforcements. Uh, we have Photon Cannons being warped in. Smartly pulling units into the main. Zerglings just flooding in here, dealing a lot of damage. 18 now coming out. You can just see the stream coming. 34, 31 Harvesters. And uh, so it's still pretty close to Harvester count. So Or shouldn't feel uh, too uh, behind at this point. Because he's only behind by three. You can see the massive swarm of uh, Zerglings and Banelings morphing outside the base there. And oh, two Banelings here got morphed in his base. They're chasing down these probes. Ors has been forced after uh, Micro all over the place. Uh, Void Ray just outside, the, outside his base trying to get some kills. But that thing just doesn't deal enough damage. He's got 12 kills so far, but Banelings taking everything out. Uh, taking out those cannons. Now he's bringing in some more Zerglings. And he's just flooding this uh, Sin. Definitely trying to end the game right now. You can see where do all those probes go. They're kind of scattered all over the place. Uh, mostly down here at the expansion, and while more, more, and more reinforcements this is just a never-ending uh, waves of attack from Sin here. These Banelings just trying to bust this Protoss player, uh, going off two bases. Uh, definitely, a, definitely a macro-style Baneling bust, and he just is going at it uh, more and more. Force field going to go down, but I don't think it's going to work. He doesn't cover that uh, photon cannon well enough, and these Zerglings are just trying to get in here and do more and more damage. We can check the. Harvest gun 38, 31, so Sin uh, making 10 drones. So switching out of this aggressive playstyle and uh, just taking his advantage, going to pop out 10 drones, knows that a counterattack won't do any damage damage considering how few units uh, Ors actually has at this point. So just uh, get, taking this chance to get some macro up. And was that a macro hatch I saw? I thought I saw him building a hatchery. Nope, uh, just upgrading his hatchery to a layer. He's got two queens out to deal with any type of void race. Coming into his base, spreading out a creep tumor. Two gas hanging out here, really close to each other. So, uh, yeah, definitely Sin playing so aggressive there. At so far, 11 minutes into the game, he's been constant aggression since those Zerglings and Banelings got out there. And Ors uh, really could have held that off a little bit better. Maybe had one or two sentries out before making like those 15 cannons. But you, know, you really need to have sentries to deal with. Those those massive amount of banelings just to stop them by easy time. You can put force fields over like really key structures so they can't be destroyed or just in front of them. But anyway, Ors is trying to get back into the get get back into this game, but he's so far behind in Harvester County, behind by ten. He's trying to kind of boost out some you know, ground weapon upgrades. Level one Hydra's now being made and numeric size numeric size carapace. Uh, and Blink being researched, but more Zerglings are on the way. Void Raid going to go out here and just do a little bit of scouting. We're going to see his Banelings pop up. Doesn't look like it. No Banelings yet. Uh, DT, Dark Shrines, on the way. And let's bring some Hydra out. Hydra will be able to deal with this Void Raid very easily, but I don't think we're going to see any more air units uh, from Ors at this point. Forced to fall back. Sin just leaving all Zerglings out here. Just to uh, make sure there's no push coming in. Of course, if it does, at this point, he can pretty much crush anything that's coming out. Uh, I don't know, there are quite a lot of sentries. Let's see, about five sentries, four stalkers. Not too much at this point. We've got uh, those group spines upgrade coming for Hydralisk, which, of course, increases the range. Hatchery popping up. That's here at this uh, mineral patch, uh, this little hidden base here with some gas. And we have the attack Hydra and Zerglings. Very good force field, splitting this up very nicely. And... Wow, Boar's doing a really good job here. Sin is trying to get out of there. He's not hes not happy with this, this placement, and he's trying to get those Zerglings out of there, but losing most of them. Uh, bringing some overloads over for some creep. Hydra doing a lot of damage there in the back. He really doesn't have that much of an army. Uh, I think Sin really needs to fall back at this point, because he just doesn't have that much to deal with here. We've got 108 versus 75. Of course, most of those... Actually, I thought most of those was Harvesters, but I guess not. 45, 42, he caught back up, and just, there's a lot of Zerglings coming out. Force fields, he doesn't have that many force fields left. So it may come down to whether or not he's in a force field. Whoa! Blink! I thought they just disappeared. <laughs> All those units. I was like, where did they go? But uh, Creep were dropping around, making it rain on top of those hydras. They're loving it. They can move fast. 
micro back and forth, gonna take up that forge very quickly. And those hydras are definitely a great unit to have versus these stalkers. The blink right on top of them, definitely a, a good counter to that. Get right on top of those hydralists so they don't have as good a concave on you. And he's just gonna have to get those overlords out of there. He's gonna lose all of those overlords. And Sim really not paying attention at this point, trying to bring in more reinforcements. You can see he's got a little creep highway going with these overlords and tumors. Uh, Hydra's now bring, being brought in, Zerglings, and I haven't seen any Dark Templars yet. I'm surprised he hasn't worked any Dark Templars at this point. I think he still has that somewhere. But uh, Sin just relentless with this pressure. He's getting his, he has his third up, but he hasn't put any drones there on it yet. Uh, which I think he probably could have. He's a little, he's pretty saturated there. I think he could spread a couple of them out. And uh, Sin just getting creep all the way up to the front door of Ors. Warping in some, uh, there's the first Dark Templar, I think. And he's going to be able to run out there and deal some damage. I don't think there's an Overseer anywhere on the map for Sin at this point. And he's just going to go over there and run straight to this expansion. He's going to see it and be able to get quite a few kills. So a little bit of a lull here in the action. We're going to follow this DT around. He's going to go, uh, <laughs> hopefully deal a lot of damage. He's going to need to deal a lot of damage. But at the same time, we have an attack coming out here. Uh, Zealots taking the front line. Many Zerglings push up. He lands enough for one. Uh, one or two force shields on that one Citri. Zerglings kind of surrounding everything. All the Zealots are dead. Blinking back. And this DT is just going to take out this Hydra skin or not. Uh, Forced to fall back. Ors is now falling back just behind these assimilators. But he's really getting trapped. We have no creep, unfortunately. Uh, a force sin. And where's that DT at? He's got to be dealing a lot of damage. I'm just going to keep him highlighted so you can check how many kills he's going for. Uh, while this action in the front of the base here is going. Sin definitely has him trapped in here. Ors trapped in his base. Really needs... Uh, another DT to deal with these units outside his base. There are no uh, overseers, so he could easily do that. But he's definitely sidetracked by all this aggression outside his base. So many hydras getting a nice concave, warping in some units. The zealots being warped in, and that dark temple up to seven kills. Trying to focus fire, kill down some overlords, and not working out too well. Zealots basically evaporating to those hydra lists and bringing the queen out over on top of it. The queen didn't have to walk very far considering there's creep, and now we have an overseer coming out. Uh, and there, there we go, nice transfusion there on those Hydralisks, keeping them alive, letting them tank for a little bit, and Sen just pressure, pressure, pressure with these Hydralisks and this creep highway, just walking right into the base, and throwing down a creep tumor, even two of them, uh, right there, right in front of uh, Or's base, and he just doesn't have that many units, and he does have a little bit of har harvesters back there, but he's on one base, Sen is on three at this point, he's two overseers now, so DTs won't be able to do anything, there we have the GG from Or, so Sen taking this game down uh, on biohazard number two I think this is version 1.2 also but uh, very interesting map a kind of a large map but also in this situation it was, seemed like a very close map just because of the rush distance and this little pathway here uh, to your opponent's base which actually didn't get used uh, he went around the outside here could have easily went this way but uh, definitely an interesting map hope you guys enjoyed it and there's two more games from this uh, I guess you call it series it's not really a series just you know, two guys kind of playing against each other in custom maps, testing out all these new maps. So I'm gonna cast the rest of these. So uh, yeah, check check out, uh, keep an eye out for those on my YouTube channel, youtubecom slash Thanks.